Well, you know, Ryan Poston's father tonight says that he personally tried to convince Shayna Hubers to leave his son alone and move on, but it didn't work. Ryan wound up dead and Hubers is now being retried for his murder. Nine on your side, Tom McKee joins us now with this emotional testimony in the Campbell Circuit Court today, Tom. Well, Ryan Poston and Shayna Hubers dated off and on for about a year and a half. And as time progressed, Ryan's father, Jay, got worried about where that relationship was headed. He knew his son wanted to end things, so he met with her face to face to try to get her to move on. Jay Poston took the stand Friday in Shayna Huber's murder retrial and left no doubt that he loved his son, Ryan. He was brilliant, but above all, he had a kind heart. But as the relationship between Ryan and Shayna Huber's progressed, it became clear to his father it wouldn't last. The status was my son wanted her not to be around, and the status was she kept coming around. Then, in August of 2012, Ryan showed up at his father's door, troubled. I asked him what's going on, and he says, Dad, she just, she won't let me alone. She won't leave my home. And I said to him, I said, Ryan, that's your home. I said, she needs to leave your home. Ryan went to bed. Jay couldn't get to sleep. And throughout the entire night, all I heard over and over and over again was the pinging of her his phone with text messages all night long. Jay Poston had had enough. He personally met with Shayna with a very blunt message. I said, Ryan doesn't want you here. I said, and he's made it very clear he doesn't want you here. And I think it'd be best if you left. I said, I honestly don't know why you keep staying around. He has made it very clear to you that you need to go. Did anything change after that? <laughs> no. But within a very short time, October of 2012, Ryan was dead. His uncle Jim was likely the last person he talked with two hours before the shooting. It was a call to say thanks. And what was the last thing he said to you? At the end, he said, Uncle Jim, thank you. And he said, uh, Uncle Jimmy, I love you. And I said, Ryan, I love you too. Very emotional testimony. Now, the court continues next week, the second week of this particular trial with more testimony. The prosecution continues to pursue its claim of murder, and the defense will focus on self-protection. All right, Tom, thank you for the latest there.